Well, the United Kingdom reeling from three terror attacks in just three months. The most recent one when terrorists rammed a van into pedestrians along the London Bridge and other attackers went on a stabbing spree. But in the aftermath, the story of one man's bravery came to light. When others were running to safety, Londoner Roy Larner had the courage to take on some of those attackers. He was yelling the slogan of his favorite soccer team and fighting the terrorists off with only his bare hands. So joining us now is the lion of the London Bridge himself, hero Roy Larner, for his first national exclusive interview. Roy, great to see you. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. That's all you're welcome. You're I just wanted to ask you, I'm reading you. your story last night. You are, you are definitely a hero. What made you, you were drinking at the bar, what made you leave and go out there and help other people that were being attacked? I don't think I had time. They smashed their way in through the bar and there was panic from around the corner where the restaurant was. And I don't think I had time to even uh, think about things. They pulled the knives out, started talking about Islam and Allah and all this. And just, they just plunged at me, one of them. But apparently, um, I must have done so well on the first one, they stopped the other two going into the um, restaurant where the staff and people were saying it stopped them killing more people. Wow. So I must have stopped them going in on that, which was, I don't know, I must have done some good. You and did a lot three of them good. Were fine. You well, did, you did, yeah, you three did of them were things. stabbing me and slashing me. Yeah, that's what I'm here listening to. So I only just come out of hospital over the last week or so. Well, so, I'm glad I mean, that you're recovering. Like stab wounds. Yeah, where did yeah, they stab you? Yeah, it's coming nice. I've, they've, um, I mean, slashed my arms and everything. Um, they've stabbed me in my stomach, chest. I've got all stabbed. My ear was hanging off. Stabbed down there. I've been cutting the head. But um, hopefully in the next month or so, everything will be back to normal. I'm a very lucky person to survive. And people were very grateful that um, that I stopped the other two going in as well, which is what I'm hearing. So it's very nice. What made you decide to run toward these attackers when everyone else is running away, as most people would um, do? <laughs> I, I must be uh, either brain dead or just thought that just we're not having it no more. Just um, we've got a. I mean, they've already killed eight people by then, so they wasn't yeah. going to stop until they got shot. Well, I, know I mean, you, the police were very quick on the... Yeah, so. I know you were looking at the terrorists and you were screaming an expletive that I won't say on air because this is a family yeah. show, morning show, but you were yes, saying, I blank <laughs> you, I'm Millwall. So, of course, we wanted Millwall. to know here in America, what is Millwall? And that is your soccer well, club, right? It's actually American. It's a chairman of our club, John Belson. Um, I think he's from Boston. Um, he's the chairman of our club, but... Um, Mills are my local, we well, call it soccer, we call it football. Mm -hmm. It's a local football club, which, um, why I said that, I don't know why, but I did. <laughs> well, they, they, have a sta they sent us <laughs> a mean, statement because yeah. they're so proud of you. You are a hero. They said Mil Millwall Football Club wishes to commend Roy Larner for his immense bravery in incredibly terrifying circumstances and indeed all other members of the public whose actions help to save others. We want to thank you. I know that the soccer team, the football team, is trying to get you season tickets because they're so proud of you. And I do know that you have what we call here in America a GoFundMe page. You have something similar there in the UK where you have raised yeah, just, just, people have been awesome. They've, you have 51,000 British pounds, which is the equivalent of $65,000 in, in American dollars. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to say thank you to, to some American people that have sent um, donations and cards and all that from America as well, which I'd like to say a big thank you to people. It's appreciated. Well, well appreciated. Also, um, I've had the WBO uh, Boxing Council. They've, they've donated $5,000 and I met him on when I come out of hospital. Um, hello, uh, I can't pronounce it, but um, the chairman, the president of the WBO Boxing Champion, um, Council, he's um, donated as well. Well, Mill thanks. doing something as well for me. Roy, thank you yeah, so much. Thank you, people, to everyone just... thank you. We just want to Sorry. say thank you. You are a hero. And if people want to give, can we roll the teleprompter back? I want to give people the list. It is justgiving.com if you want to help. His name is Roy Larner. Thank you, Roy. God bless you. You are a hero. Thank you. Thanks for waking you. up with us. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.